All right. Good evening, Matt Morrow, Shaw Football Insiders. Uh, we're back once again. Um, excited to talk to a very talented young man out of the 252 Eastern part of North Carolina, um, part of the state that, you know, I think has a lot of great talent. Um, but it gets somewhat overlooked because, you know, there's not a lot of uh, media outlets out there um, and not a, a lot of, you know, deep coverage like we get here in the Charlotte metro area. Uh, but this talented young man has already had some big time offers from Tennessee, Charlotte, uh, Coastal Carolina, and South Carolina. Uh, he plays defensive line, um, the defensive tackle uh, position specifically, and that is K.J. Sampson, and we're going to bring him on with us right now. How you doing tonight, young man? Good. How are you, sir? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Appreciate you taking out the time uh, to speak with us tonight. Thank you. Uh, for, yeah, my, my pleasure, man. My pleasure. Uh, the first thing I want to ask you is, you know, obviously we've got a lot of uh, racial issues going on. We've got a lot of social injustice in the world. Yes, uh, what What's your opinion on everything that's going on and what can we do to change it? Um, if you could have some influence on that. Um, I would say as um, like for the young people to like look at this and like I know like some people haven't been doing the right things and like we should learn from this and we should speak up for like what we think is right and what we think is wrong honestly and like some people like with the riots and stuff some have been taken too far or whatever and some of them some of them have, they've done them very peacefully they want to um they want to see change like i want to see change but it's gonna take more than just um, um, doing t-shirts saying Black Lives Matter or whatever it's going to take more than that as you can see well said man I mean for a, a sophomore in high school that's an incredibly astute answer that's better than some adults <laughs> that I've been you know having to watch and listen to on social media so that that's very impressive I totally agree I totally agree with that it takes more than just you know saying things and wearing shirts um Absolutely right. Um, you know, as if that wasn't enough going on, we've got COVID-19 that's come in and just, you know, completely changed our world all around. Um, what kind of things have you been doing to kind of stay ready through COVID-19? And uh, what talk about some of the training and some of the ways that you've been able to um, keep yourself, you know, in shape and prepared for football coming up? Um, I've been working out as much as I can, but working out like we started back with school workouts this week um i've been training with my trainer like um i've been training with him for four for days a week and then i um then i do my um football workouts and then i work out at home by myself i try to get some of the guys to work out together very good, man. Very good. So, you know, just starting back school workouts, has it been kind of strange, you know, the way that, you know, everything has kind of been going? Is it weird to kind of get back with your teammates and, you know, having to do some limited things? Uh, how, how has that experience been? Um, other than not being able, not um, having to keep the, uh, staying far apart from each other and not like um, being like being like amongst each other like we usually are. Mm -hmm. Um, everything's probably been like the same. We've grind, we've been grinding. All right, KJ. So let's let's talk about your game on the field. I was very impressed with your highlight film. I think for a freshman, you had an incredible season. Um, in your opinion, what are the best things you do on the football field? Um, I think the best thing I do on the football field is that I can play at multiple positions and um. I, I'm very versatile in my game. It's not like I can, it's not like I'm just, oh, like I can play both sides of the ball if I'm needed to. But from, I like some defense because I love defense. Defense is better than offense. But um, other than that, um, I'm, not, I'm not as slow as people think I am. Some people think I'm slow. I'm big and slow just because it's a stereotype. You're big. You know what I mean, most of the time you're slow. Trust me. Trust me. If with me, I'm not slow at all. I'm doing pretty fast from my size, actually. 
Yeah, that shows in your um, highlight film. I'll tell you, the, the one of the things that made me the most impressed was the amount of solo tackles you had from the defensive tackle position. That You just don't see that, especially from a freshman. That That's crazy. And, um, you know, your film speaks for itself. You're not a slow guy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Faster than I was when I played D-tackle. I'll tell you that much. My goodness. Oh, my gosh. Um, so I want to ask you, um, what made you want to play football in the first place? Um, well, when we want to play football, I would say my granddad and my dad. Um, my granddad, he used to always watch, he used to always watch footballs, football, football games. It didn't matter if it was old games, new games. He was just, I just loved to watch football with him. And then my dad, he, when he finally signed me up, I just, ever since my first game, me and my first practice, I've just always loved football ever since then. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Um, it's great that you, you have that bond with your grandfather and your father. That's that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Um, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, in your opinion, what NFL player would you most compare your game on the field to? Um, I would say that I'm a little bit of a couple players. I feel like I'm quick off the ball. I'm strong, so like Aaron Donald in a way. That's how I try to image at least. And then I feel like if I need to, I can be like Reggie White or Mean Joe Green if I need to. That's some deep references right there. Football historian. I like that. Reggie White and Mean Joe Green. Wow, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's that's great. That's great. Um, so what are your goals for this upcoming season? Um, all the stats I had, I want to double. That's all. Just double the stats. And yeah, that's, yeah. that's reasonable. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good that you set those attainable goals. Um, and I, I, I don't know what your stats were, but I mean – You've got the talent to, to probably triple them <laughs> if you wanted to, in my opinion. Um, do you listen to me, any music before the game? And if you do, um, what's your favorite song? Um, yes, I do listen to music before the game. I would say that my go to, and you no, know, I'm young, but at, my, at heart, I'm old head. Um, I'll say that it's Anything by Tupac or Notorious Big. I created it for the game and I'm ready to go. Man, you should have played what I played. <laughs> <laughs> Those were our go tos back in the uh, the late 90s and um, early 2000s. That's all right, man. That's all right. I like you. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who would you like to thank for your football success, KJ? Um, first, I got to start off with my parents. Um, ever since I was little, they always saw something in me. They said, and they, was, they said, um, just push yourself and everything you do, I'm going to support you with anything. And honestly, my parents have made so much sacrifices. Um, some people don't see all the sacrifices that they made for me, but trust me. And I also like to thank my siblings. They've made a lot of sacrifices for me too. And then all my coaches that I've had up to this far, they've pushed me. They've seen potential in me that sometimes I didn't see myself. But now it's go time now. Very good, man. Very good. You're a very grounded um, young man. I think you're an old soul, which speaks to me 100%. Um, and and you got a, a very quiet confidence that 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 really speaks well for your character. Um, I'm excited to see you. You're gonna be at our camp uh, coming up in two weeks, yes, and um, you know, I, yes, yeah, yeah. And we, I'm gonna tell you, um, we hadn't released the roster yet, but we got some really good offensive linemen. So I think the O line D line matchups are gonna be great, and you're gonna be a, a big part of that. So man, we're we're excited to see you come down from the two five two and. 
you know, I know you guys are going to represent hard because I know I think you got a couple other guys coming down with you. So um, it's going to be real exciting to, to see you guys in action, man. Um, I want to thank you for coming on here tonight and, um, you know, appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll we'll talk again real soon, man. Yes, sir. Thank you.